Hello, and welcome once again to another iPhone Nerd tutorial. Uh, this one's Windows based. Uh, I don't know how the audio quality is going to be on this because I do not have a Windows uh, microphone. My Mac had a built in one, so the quality on that was pretty good. Um, so, not quite e as good quality because I'm doing it on my iPhone. I'm recording the audio on my iPhone and putting it on here. But, this is a very basic tutorial and what we're going to be explaining today is basically how to restore from firmware 3.0 let's say you upgraded you don't want it anymore and you just want to restore how can we do that uh, that's going to be taught here today and also how to correct the 1600 error that you might get in iTunes when trying to restore to a custom firmware that you used quick pawn or maybe even pawnish tool to build uh, so let's get it started um, first you will need to download the tools uh, to do this and you can start by going to iphonenerd.com or whichever one of your favorite sites is uh, these things are already done on iphone nerd if you want to get them from here it's fine you want to get it somewhere else it's fine as well uh, we can go into the downloads tab and you will see jailbreaking tools and you, if you click in there you'll see quick pawn release candidate 3 uh, we need this although it's very old we need it just because uh, it's gonna help us get everything working properly uh, you also want to download the go ahead and go into firmware and downloads as well and you also want to f uh, download the 2.0.2 firmware for either the 2G or the 3G whichever phone you're using this is very important they're labeled 2G and 3G and it's very important that you pick the correct one because if you don't pick the correct one then this will not work once you have those things downloaded I suggest you save them to the desktop in my case I have them in a firmware uh, folder which I have dedicated just to that um, what you want to do is you want to extract release uh, quick pawn release candidate 3 to your desktop and then you want to go ahead and open it well, let's let that open uh, once it opens what you want to do is go ahead and select your device which in this case would be the iPhone 3G and you hit the blue arrow you want to uh, it should automatically try to find the firmware um, in your case it might mines I will browse for it and just let it know that it's right here it's gonna go ahead and load it at this time you wanna plug in your iPhone <coughs> regularly how it is um, if it's at the emergency screen then that's okay you just wanna leave it at the emergency screen just plug it in close iTunes if it boots up just close iTunes if you're on 2.2.1 stay where you're at just plug the iPhone in now, a little bit information before I continue. Once we hit this button here, it's going to ask us for these things. These things don't really matter if you want to add City or add Installer because this is not really going onto your phone. We just want to get the phone into a certain mode before we actually, uh, so we can do this with iTunes. So nothing is going to be going on your phone. Uh, after this, when I hit Next, it's going to tell me to verify that my phone has been connected. Uh, once I once I connect my phone, uh, which I'm not going to do it in this tutorial, uh, but I'm going to make sure that I explain it thoroughly for you. Once you connect your phone, you can go ahead and hit the blue arrow again. And then once that happens, it's going to guide you through basic steps. Um, and you should follow everything the screen says. It's first going to put the phone in recovery mode automatically. Then you're going to have to hold the home button in for five seconds. Then you're going to have to hold the power button in for 10 seconds and then continue to hold, then release the power button and continue to hold the home button for an additional 30 seconds. Now, after that's done, Quick Pawn will, uh, will begin to send the commands to your phone. What you want to do is keep a close eye on your phone and when your phone goes into a white screen you want to unplug your phone do not let quick pawn finish do not let quick pawn finish 
You want to unplug your phone as soon as the screen goes white. You follow the steps and as soon as the screen goes white, you want to unplug your phone. Once that's done, you want to close Quick Pawn, minimize any other things that you have, and you want to open up iTunes, which in my case isn't even on the desktop. And you want to open up iTunes. Once you get iTunes opened up, iTunes is going to tell you that it has found a phone in recovery mode. And we do basically the same steps that we've done in my previous tutorials, uh, or that you did to upgrade. You hold the shift key if you are on Windows, and click restore. And restore to the custom firmware, or if you're downgrading, restore to 2.2. Point one or whichever uh, firmware you want to restore down to. Uh, one of the things that I want to let you know is that regardless after you do this or not, uh, you um, will be upgrading your baseband, which is your modem firmware, and that's not downgradable. Uh, you can unlock 2.2.1 using Ultra Snow. Uh, so once this is done and you're downgraded back to 2.2.1, if you're not upgrading, you can uh, go ahead into City and download that and unlock your phone. If you have any questions or found this tutorial confusing, just any suggestions or need any general help, you can send us an instant message at nerd support on aim.com. So uh, if you have aim, you can go ahead and send us a message to this screen name, Nerd Support. We're normally on uh, just about 24 hours a day. We don't have any set times as of yet, but if we're on, we will be more than glad to help you. Once again, thank you very much for watching this uh, tutorial, and don't forget to visit iPhoneNerd.com. Thank you.